Ariel Hawani at UFC 148 with the world-renowned Mike Dolce, who of course is in Chael Sonnen's corner. And Mike Dolce has a very, very important task in the next 24 hours because we just spoke to Chael Sonnen. He says 20 pounds to go, and that's not normal for him. Doing things a little differently. Why is he so heavy? He's so heavy on purpose. Look how much energy he has right now. Does he look good? Does he look healthy? Be full of energy? That's the point. Most athletes make the mistake of cutting weight too early. They stop their food, they stop their fluid intake way too early. Then they suffer Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The only day you should be suffering is the morning of your weigh-in. He won't feel so great tomorrow morning because he's pulling a little bit of water. It's not going to be nearly what it sounds like. But the weight comes off through food. I feed my athletes to the scale. Everybody else is deprived, and I think the fact that you know I'm here speaking with you or working with a guy like Chael Sonnen or Vitor Belfort or Tiago Alves or Gray Maynard or Jake Ellenberg or Johnny Hendricks is because of the results. I mean, these guys have been in the game, whether it's wrestling or jiu-jitsu or MMA, for 20-plus years. They've been at a world-class level. They bring me in time and time again because of how great they feel. And Johnny Hendricks said it best. He said, finally, I know which Johnny Hendricks is going to show up in the cage. I started with him for the pitch fight, continued with the Koscheck fight, two of the biggest wins of his career. Johnny's a super talented athlete on his own, but he was one of the worst when it came to how to diet properly. My guys eat all the way up, and that's what Chael's doing. So the fact that you know is 20 pounds over or so, that's easy. He drank three, three gallons of water yesterday. He drank two gallons today. That's 16 pounds today, plus food. He had coconut fried chicken for dinner last night, Ariel. That sounds pretty good. So take us into his world. What I mean, we're, it's around 3 o'clock right now, Pacific time, Las Vegas time. In around 25 hours, he's going to weigh in, 4 o'clock Friday. What do the next 25 hours look like for Chael Sonnen? Relax him. We're gonna, you know, get out. We're gonna finish the work for the UFC right now and see you guys. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back to the hotel. And we're gonna relax for a little bit, and then we're gonna check his weight. We're gonna start to break a sweat. We're not gonna work it off. We're not gonna run it off. We're not gonna grapple it off or hit pads. We're not gonna put on plastics. We're not gonna step in the sauna. Right now, we've prepared the body through scientific method to start releasing the weight. We've increased the metabolism. We've increased the core temperature. His, he's, he's sweating right now, talking. His body's purging the weight in the most healthy manner possible. What I do, what I was able to do, is find a system that allows these athletes to lose weight in a healthy manner, give the athletes what they need, and, and the body does what, what we want it to do, instead of the opposite. You deprive the body, the body goes into a shock state, cortisol is produced, infl inflammatory responses start to kick in, and the weight starts dripping off. It, it's, it's like you know trying to get uh, blood from a stone. With my guys, it pours off. I mean, he was training for 20 minutes up there, pouring sweat. I mean, it, it's just a natural part. For me, it seems like common sense now. For everybody else, it seems like magic, but I, I, I think it's very simple. What will he eat? Tonight? Yeah. Uh, right now, we're going to actually do a, a chia bowl. He had a, a big breakfast bowl this morning, which is oats, it's flax seeds, it's some chia seeds, it's three different types of fruits, it's agave. Um, you know, then he's had a what he had a, a tangerine and a handful of strawberries right before he came here to get his sugar up so his brain is working properly we're going to get out of here we're going to have a chia bowl which is chia seeds mixed with water some fresh blueberries and we're going to relax for a little bit and then we're going to check his weight and go from there are you surprised at the ufc level even in some very big fights that you still see guys struggling with 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 with, with cutting weight and making weight are you surprised that i mean that's half the fight right there uh, I mean, what goes through your mind when you're a professional, when you're a guy who helps people, that these guys don't seek the help and do it the right way? It, uh, it, it, it hurts, you know, because I, I, I used to fight. You know, I've, I've made 40 plus pound weight cuts and I, I've been abused by management systems and, and coaches and, and all that stuff. I've gone through that terrible part of it. And I know how it feels to be laying on, on a sauna floor, packed in plastic with your coach dragging you in and out. It's the worst thing ever and it hurts performance, it hurts your confidence. So seeing guys at the UFC level, and I back here I was in, in Canada with Ed Herman, and he's fighting on an undercard, and I saw the main event guy, a guy with a world title, packed himself in the plastics with towels, and he's shadow boxing, so on, and he collapses. His coach pick him up, and they yell at him like he's like he's a wussy, you know, like he like he's soft. You got to work, you got to push. It broke my heart. Now Eddie was a bigger guy; he had more weight to lose. We're not even going close to doing that back in those days. So I'm, I'm a longevity advocate. I'm not a sports performance guy. You know, I, I want my athletes to live to 120 years old. I want them to have a vibrant state of health forever. So we focus on that. So when I see these guys collapsing and just abusing themselves, it, it really it, it hurts. It, it breaks my heart. Now, I don't want to sound cliche, but it does because they don't have to do it like that. They don't have to suffer. But from a professional standpoint, the sport suffers and their career suffers because now they're not able to perform to the best of their ability. And, and I think that's what my system is set apart. Every time my guy steps in the cage, it's a career-defining performance. My guy has never missed weight and they've never underperformed. They overperform. They always look better than they ever have because they're fed and they're healthy.
It's, it sounds too simple, right? It's, it's crazy. It's an amazing thing, and if you don't know, now you know a very important 25 hours for Chel Sonnen, but if you ask Mike Dolce, it's going to be like a walk in the park. It's easy. Unbelievable. It, it, he's, you know, he woke up uh, 20 pounds over. Right now, he's probably 12 pounds over. You know, he's, he's been to the bathroom nine times in the last four hours. And it, they're long ones, you know what I mean? I, I mean, he's standing up the whole time, you know what I mean? So it, it's just perfect. He will step on the scale with, with zero impacted food matter inside his body. He's, he's, he's a perfect machine right now. It, it's, it's, it's this balance. People say boxing is a sweet science. I respect boxing. I love boxing. But it's not. This, this, this is the sweet science. Good luck to you guys. Always a pleasure, Mike. And uh, we look forward to the fight on Saturday night. Ariel, thank you so much. And uh, I appreciate being here. Thank you.